in 2022, the national ID card of citizens would now be their Sehat Sohlat cards as well. People can now get themselves treated by giving their ID card numbers. This is applied over 36 districts in Punjab and the whole province of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Previously, people would get a separate Sohlat card in order to avail free hospital services. The hospital on the panel of this Sehat card has have received a health facilitating officer who would entertain all of these procedures. The enrolled families would be married couples with their unmarried children. Every family has a leader. It can be either be the husband or the wife. Family members must have their own ID along with a colored copy of the ID of the family's appointed leader. To check the eligibility of the Sehat card, SMS the card ID number to 8500. After that, they would receive a reply as to whether they are eligible to use this Sehat card. Qualifying patients can avail their treatments for free. Citizens can call on 0800-09009 to provide feedback about any inconvenience. The people enrolled till 2021 would a part of Sehat Solat Program 2 SSP2. The secondary limit is in Pakistani rupees 60,000 and the tertiary limit is 300,000. The SSP3 people enrolled in 2022, the secondary limit Pakistani rupees 60,000. However, the tertiary limit is 400,000 rupees. The secondary cases would look at small cases like hernia, gynae, fistula, etc. The tertiary limit would look at cases like heart diseases, dialysis, ortho, and cancer. This also look at special cases related to women. In case the secondary limit seems less, the citizens can request to take from the tertiary amount reserve fund. The SSP2 patients upon discharge would get a 1000 rupees for transportation and medicine for 5 days. The SSP3 would only receive medicine for 5 days. In case of emergency, the treatment would be done right away. This card is only applicable for indoor treatment. This means that if the patient's condition is serious, for example being hospitalized or requiring surgery, the Sehat card would be applicable. However, it is not usable when the doctor prescribed a fee for their doctor's medi-clinic consultancy or tests.